Hey everybody, Cypherboy here with another episode of the Dead City game. As you see, Sam is online, so it's day two. Good morning, even if it isn't easy to find anything good about it. Let's see. Did you sleep well? No, not at all. I heard more shots. It wasn't that close, but anyway. I guess you can imagine that this is not my definition of a good night's sleep. I definitely want to get out of this town. What do you think? Should I first check out the place I heard the shots coming from yesterday? Isn't that too dangerous? <clears throat> yesterday, there were a whole lot of dead on the streets. When I looked a while ago, the streets were deserted. That's weird, isn't it? Still better not go. Uh, better don't go, I mean. This is probably for the best. Then I will leave the town right away. Sam is away. Uh, watch Eclipse so I can get it done faster. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you, but I think I just saw Anna. What? No, really. I am absolutely sure. She just disappeared behind one of the houses. But how is this possible? That's not Anna anymore. anymore. What do you mean? The bite has changed her. Then she became one of the dead. This changes a lot. I should be even more careful from now on. I'll try to get back to the edge of town. Do you want to talk in the meantime? I would like to get to know you a little better. Uh, sure, what do you want to know? Hmm, let me think a second. Like general things. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. That's nice. My brother Corey and I fought a lot. One time we were fighting so hard that he ignored me for three weeks. Yeah, he was always, has always been pretty persistent. Okay, night or morning person? night person. It's currently two, almost 2.30 in the morning, so I'm still awake and wide awake. Me too, absolutely. Dog or cat person? Definitely cat. Hmm, I've never had a cat. Coffee or tea? Uh, I'll take coffee because there's so many flavors like mocha, french vanilla, I had that yesterday. I'm no use before I had my morning coffee, at least that's what I thought so far. That was nice. I reached the edge of town. There are now two possibilities. Either I go in directly on the street, or I go along the edge of the wood. Both have its advantages. On the street, I might find a store or something like that. The edge of the wood offers a little more cover than the open road, but it would also represent a little detour. What do you think? I would say go to the forest because of the coverage. You can kind of see stores from the edge of the forest anyway. All right. Man, my feet already hurt. I'll get in touch if there's anything interesting. It's too skip. Don't worry, nothing happened. Absolutely nothing, but don't get me wrong, I'm really happy about that. I just hate being alone with my thoughts.
Um, you better focus on the road. Let's see what that does. Hmm. Mm hmm. You're right. I'll text you when something ha interesting happens. Are you there? Did something happen? No, not really. I think someone has been here recently. There are traces in the grass. The tracks lead directly into the forest. Uh, better go on. It could be something dangerous. Yeah, who knows where those these tracks would have led me. I can't begin to tell you how happy I am not to have taken the road. Who knows what would have happened to me there? All this walking is killing me. On top of that, it's incredibly hot. I should have looked for a bike in the town. What about you? Do you like cycling? Haven't done so in a long time, but yeah. Really, to be honest with you, I hate it. My bigger brother, Corey, tried to teach me cycling when I was a kid. On the first try, I simply fell over, over after a few feet. This was quite a shock for him. He probably thought I was dead when he saw me lying there. We're still laughing about it today. Did I tell you he's in the army? So is he also in the bunker? No, he wasn't. Nobody seemed to know him there, even though he's quite a big shot by now. Anyways, I didn't see him for a long time. I hope he's fine. Well, I don't want to talk, want to annoy you any further. See ya. Little change of plans. I came across a farm. What farm? Herschel's farm from Walking Dead? Well, one with a cornfield and a barn. A farm, you know? I can't tell you more about it. I'm still too far away. What's so interesting about it? I didn't want to alarm you, but I couldn't continue down the road. There were a whole lot of the dead, just so many of them. In fact, it would have been impossible to get around them, and I really wanted to avoid stumbling around outside in the middle of the night. Be careful. Like always. In about five minutes, I'll be close enough to tell you more. It'll be fine, you'll see. Especially since I got you. Well... I'm now directly in front of the farm and I have not yet encountered any angry farmers with pitchforks. So far I don't even know if someone lives here at all. Look through the window. Okay, wait. I think I saw someone in there, just a shadow. No idea if alive or dead. Thunder. It looks like there's a storm coming up. That's the last thing I need. One more reason not to sleep outside. Look for another shelter. There could be a barn there. All right. Yeah, this house seriously creeps me out. There's a barn nearby. I'll try my luck over there. He can go up into the barn loft, sleep there, and be safe from the zombies. I found shelter in the barn and I have to say that it's quite comfy. Okay, if I'm honest, I just love the smell of straw and old wood, and the best part, it's warm and dry. Be careful anyway. Yeah, I don't think the owners would be all too excited to have an unknown visitor. Provided that there's really someone in the house. I heard something. Someone's in the barn. Maybe the owner. He can't see me yet. There's a tractor between me and him. He's coming straight for me. First of all, I'm fine. 
I'm really sorry if my sudden disappearance made you worry, but I really thought my end had come and I suddenly wasn't alone anymore. Uh, I'm just happy you're okay. Oh, er, uh, thanks. You're really understanding. Listen, I don't have time to text you right now. I just wanted to let you know that I'm fine. I'll explain later, everything later in about 30 minutes. Okay, sorry for earlier, but first, but first I had to explain to my two hosts who I am and what I was doing in their barn. Hosts? Hank and Louise, the owners of this farm. Turned out they have been watching me since my arrival at the farm and they were so nice to let me spend the night with them. Why didn't they invite you earlier? Hmm, I haven't thought of that. So far I was just happy about their hospitality. But first of all, I will have dinner with them. Stu, I'm in Evan. Uh, I don't trust all of that. Yeah, I remember in The Walking Dead, one of the games, um, they were cooking humans in that one house on that one farm. The one with Clementine. Really, so far they seem to be extremely nice, but if you say so, I'll take care. I'll get in touch with you again when I'm in the guest room, probably in an hour or so. I just finished dinner. And if you're interested, it was delicious. Did something unusual happen? Well, they wanted to know all sorts of stuff about me. Where I was, how I survived, then I asked why they haven't been evacuated in, by the military. Apparently they didn't know anything about an evacuation. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're lying. Yeah, but what about? I mean, about what? I didn't tell you the weirdest thing yet. While we were eating, there suddenly was a loud noise. As if something heavy fell over directly beneath us, but Hank and Louise pretended not to notice it. You should be careful. Of course I am, don't worry. I think that if they had wanted to harm me, they would have already have. On top of that, this is not the very best moment to get away. Some members of the herd for which I am here in the first place got dangerously close. My chance be real well right now uh, sounds like you're trapped thanks for the consolation and I can't stop thinking that I have already seen the hang somewhere maybe you have no I don't think so Whatever, I really should sleep a little. I'll simply be on my way as early as possible tomorrow. I heard something. I have no idea what caused the noise, but it was loud enough to wake me up. The same noise as earlier? I think so, but I'm not sure. And Hank and Louise went to bed hours ago. Uh, go and check it out. Could be someone in their basement. Yes, I'm wide awake anyway. I just saw Hank coming from the basement. Or at least I think that this, this door leads to the basement. What did he do down there in the middle of the night? Very suspicious. <laughs> Certainly is. I think I should take a look down there. See ya. Maybe it's his brother down there. That would be interesting. You won't believe me. 
me, but there's a man down here. I didn't expect that. He's tied to a chair. A prisoner? That, uh, yeah. I think he's from the military. At least he's wearing camouflage. What else do you see? Someone has put a bag on his head. Here's a whole lot of blood. Is it from him? And there are various weird tools next to him. Did hang towards him? Take off the sack. Maybe he's... He woke up. He's begging me to untie him. There are footsteps. Hank, I think he's coming back. Untie him. Hope he gets out of the house. I'm sorry that I text you only now, but it was impossible to get in touch with you before. You can't imagine what happened in that basement. Are you alright? Well, as well as can be expected under the circumstances, it was complete chaos. My hands are still shaking. Do you want to detail the detailed or the short version? Uh, the short version. The short version, then. Well, I freed the prisoner. Hank came in but was knocked out by the supposedly unconscious soldier. Then we fled into the forest. Apparently, he and the two others were belonged to an evacuation squad. Were ordered to evacuate Hank and Louise. Hank shot his colleagues and took him prisoner. He asked him some questions about the dead ones in the bunker. That's it. At least the most important facts. Why Hank did it, I don't. I can't say. And I think that pro I probably never will. Anyway, I'm now sitting in the middle of the forest in company of the soldier who went to sleep a few minutes ago. He went through a lot these days, these last days. What else did he tell you? He implied that the military had lost control over the outbreak. How far reaching this whole thing really is, no idea. At daybreak, he will try to get back to the bunker. I highly doubt he will make it in this condition. I don't like all that. Uh, um, let's see. Did you tell him something about you? No, at least not the truth. Of course he was very interested in my story, why I was out here all alone, and why I was out here in the first place. I told him that I never got evacuated, I don't think he believes me. And I told him nothing about you. Well, I can be happy to still be alive after all that. In a few hours it will be dawn, I've, if, if want to sleep a little before that. That's probably, I want to sleep a little before that. I should do it now. I'll get in touch with you at daybreak, okay? All right. Sleep well.